Many times today as believers or Christians, we seem to have a mind frame of, I can serve God and live any type of way that I want to. Well, that's the biggest lie ever told. My thought is coming from 1 Peter 1 and 16, and it says this, because it is written, be holy for I am holy. The definition of holy simply means dedicated or consecrated to God or to a religious purpose. That's right. It simply means to be set apart from the world's system and their ways. So in that being said, we praise God on the lips in one minute, but yet we still we say we love you, Jesus, but yet we're still using profanity and cursing folks out. We say, I love you, Lord, today, but yet we're still getting drunk. We say God is my everything, but yet we're still having sex without marriage. <laughs> the Bible clearly says in Matthew chapter six, around the 24th verse, it says, no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one or love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You have to pick a side, saints. Why? Jesus said this. He said, the people draw nigh to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. He also says that if you love me, keep my commandments. I just stopped by to let you know that there is no in between. You have to pick a side. We cannot say that we love God one minute and then in the next sentence or next breath or next action, we're doing things that are opposite of his word. So what must we do? We have to examine ourselves. As 2 Corinthians 13 and 5 says, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Listen, you can say you love God all day, but what are your actions displaying? James 1 and 22 says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Judgment day is coming, y'all. And we all have to give an account for how we live. So listen, we have to stop playing church and be the church. Because God is keeping record of everything that we say or do, and even to our very thoughts. Which in judgment, God should bring everything back, whether it be good or bad. So I challenge not only you, but myself as well, that the love that we profess for God is it being displayed with our actions. <laughs> Jesus clearly says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So if we're speaking good things about the Lord, make sure that our actions are following behind it. And in my closing, it says this in Hebrews 12 and 14, it says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. God has made us holy because of what he did, sacrificing his son and the blood being shed for your sins and mine. And when we walk in that, we are walking in the holiness of God. All right. Listen, I hope that you have enjoyed this short video and we all have an opportunity to do and get better. Okay. If you like Bible in context, you already know what to do. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until we tune in next time, God bless.